spoken a few times here and some of the different topics stood out uh, I, I'm kind of I want to test and I'm looking around and and I'm not seeing a whole lot of people that remember some of those lessons you know we talk about uh, write the vision and make it plain you know in our in our in our walk if we're going through something I know I shared probably shared the same story when I when I gave the message was uh, if there's something that comes up in our lives that's important, whether it's an illness, whether it's some something uh, wrong with a, a appliance or a vehicle, what do we generally do? If you're not if you're not me, because what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to call somebody to come fix it and right. do all that. But what usually a lot of people do is they research it. They want to see the ins and outs of what's going on, right? And Google, notes, forums, whatever, chats, I don't know, whatever else there is, right? And you, you're getting information, right? And what, why are you getting that information? Because it's important to you, right? Now, if it's, a, it's something life-threatening, it's even more so. You're printing and doing printouts, and you got all this, you're taking notes, and you're going to seminars or whatever. So when we come to a study, regardless of who is speaking, God wants to speak to you. God's got a word for you, Amen. right? Amen. Now, when we come here, whether it's here at Arlene's, at the Einan Outreach uh, Center, Amen. whether it's here, or whether it's Wednesday night, if you go to a, a church function on Wednesdays or Sundays or wherever it is, there's a word. God's got something for you. Amen. God's got something for you. And we should be on the edge of our seats expecting. Mm -hmm. And we should be writing it down. Taking them notes that, hey, he's got something for me. I'm, I'm not going to miss it. Right. And when it does, I'm going to record it. When it comes and it hits my heart, I'm going to record it. I'm going to write it down. So that's what I want to encourage you to do. Whether it's tonight, whether it's you know, to, to write down your word. Write down what God's got for you because he's got something for you. And, and take and have Regardless of who your pastor is, regardless of what message is coming from, God wants to speak to you, and let's approach it with that same urgency, like it's life-threatening, like it's, you know, our lives counted on this information, because our spiritual lives can and do, right? We come here to get fed spiritually. We come here to grow. We come here to fellowship. We come here to, to eat, right? We're blessed to come to eat. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Arlene. <laughs> Don. Yeah. And we're offered so much more yeah. with that spiritual food as well. Yeah. Let's devour that like we did them sloppy joes. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, so that's, it. That's, that's it. Now, from here on, I'm going to be testing again next time I, I, if next time I get to share. I'm going to be seeing who got the notepads out because uh, God's got something for you. Amen. 